Hi guys, this tutorial is going to show you how you can remember your position between maps in RPG Maker. Now a common way of doing this is to uh, use the event system and to basically store your map positions into a variable. Uh, this is fine. Um, for example, uh, you can say uh, create a variable and call it my map position X and my map position Y and then when you transfer uh, your player from one map to another then you can just use those variables to make sure it appears on the right map and at the right place uh, this is fine but I want to show a slightly different way of doing it um, based on our previous tutorial where we created an empty plugin and doing it in code and the reason that I like doing it this way myself is because it allows uh, it allows you to do it in just one place once and once it works you don't have to repeat it you don't have to copy events and copy that logic around and it also allows you to just essentially do this just every time you want to switch from one map to the next it's just a call to one line one to to um, uh, my brain isn't working uh, to a common event so Okay, so I'm going to show you this in my game. Uh, here's an example interaction that I have. So this guy here is fixing a panel. So what's going to happen is we're going to talk to him and we're going to give him help. And then it's going to uh, transfer us into a whole new map. Uh, that map is not built, but this map is going, to be a, it's going to be a mini game in my game. And as soon as you finish the game, which is basically what's going to happen here when I click, It'll take you back to exactly the spot that you were at before. Um, and uh, that's it. So I click that and I'm out. And then boom, I come back. And the game continues. So obviously this happens all the time when you walk indoors, etc. So the way that um, I accomplish that using the code and the plugin is I, I have two things going on. One is there's a common event that I set up which is really easy, which just says, um, I called it, uh, where is it? Go, to, oh, I'm on it, that's why I can't see it. Uh, return to previous map, and all that is, is just one thing. It's just that transfer player. So you can see here, this is just saying, whenever you call go to previous map, it's going to pick up these three variables, previous place, which is the map, previous X, and previous Y, which is the position that you were at. So you can see here in the map that we transferred into which was obviously a very silly map but this just showed that text and then it calls that common event go to previous map so the question is how did those variables get pop get properly set to go back to the map and the answer is um, through code so here it's this little thing here so I show the video where we created an empty plugin this would be the first piece of code you could potentially put in there all this does is it basically rpg maker underneath it automatically is calling this code before the transfer happens but every time you call the transfer so you call transfer it calls this code and then what this code then does is calls the transfer afterwards so what i'm doing here is I am setting the values of the three variables. These are just numbers. So this this previous place in the code is variable 17. The X is 18. The Y is 19. And I'm just setting it to the current map, the current X and the current Y. After they're set, it then does the transfer. So then, of course, when you call that common event at the end of the map you transferred to, it just puts you back where you started. So I will update the empty plugin from the previous tutorial and add this code to it um, so that you can use it. Please click subscribe if you like the channel and join me on twitch.tv where I'm regularly doing indie game development and game playthroughs. You can also check out my previous games and current development efforts on my website over at clear.games.com.